Hi there, my name is Sky, and I'm legally blind. My vision is really, really bad, and for that reason, I use a guide dog to help me get around. Contrary to popular belief, guide dogs don't do all the work. A person who is blind has to work with their guide dog. They work together as a team, and both put in a lot of effort to keep each other safe. My dog Cindy is six years old. She is a standard poodle, and we've been together as a working team for about four and a half years now. When we are working, Cindy is the eyes of the operation. She can see, and so she's the one who keeps us out of dangerous situations. She leads me around things, stops for obstacles, finds things, and even ignores my commands if it's unsafe to follow them. I, on the other hand, am the brains of the operation. I have to know where we're going and how to get there. I need to memorize routes, know when to turn, know when to cross streets, and in general have to figure out how to get from point A to point B safely. I give Cindy directions, and she follows them safely for both of us. So, we work together as a team to get things done. In this video, I'm going to outline the commands that I use when I work with Cindy to keep us both safe. General obedience commands consist of sit. Cindy, sit. Good job. Very nice. Down. down. Very good, Cindy. Stand. Cindy. Good girl. Good job. Stay. Good girl. Stay. Heel. And Stay come. Up. Good job, Miss. Very nice. These are commands that our dogs can do in or out of harness, and they are just general behaviors for the dogs. They're how we keep our dogs under control in a normal environment. All right, so now it's time for Cindy's guide work commands. So this is her harness, and when her harness is off, it means that she's just a pet, and when the harness goes on, it means that she's working. So this is the handle that I hold so that she can guide me, and this is the piece of the harness that goes on over her head, so her head sticks through so that she can pull into this and be able to lead me effectively. So when I put the harness on, I always make sure that this strap that goes around her belly is on top so it doesn't hit her in the nose when I put it on. I put the harness down and say, Cindy, harness, good job. And she puts her head through just like that. And she gets a treat for being a good girl. And then we just go underneath her belly, hook the harness to the side, and she's ready to work. Yep she has her harness on. So her harness to her means that she changes. She used to be in pet dog mode, now she's in guide dog mode. So whenever the dog's harness is on, it means they're working and you don't want to pet them or distract them because they're doing their job. Guide work commands consist of forward, hop up, steady, right, left, back, halt, and find. These commands are a bit more intricate because they are how we work with our guide dogs specifically. The commands are only used when the dog's harness is on and we are holding the harness handle. The dogs are actively guiding us in these instances. Forward is just what it sounds like. We tell the dog to go forward and start walking. Halt is also very obvious. Here we're just telling the dog to stop and wait. Steady is asking the dog to slow down. Hop up is asking the dog to either go faster to move the human closer to what you're asking for. For example, closer to the curb that the dog stopped for or closer to an overhead obstacle like some tree branches. It also can be used rather sternly to tell the dog to pay attention if they're goofing off. When we tell our dog right or left, they're supposed to make an immediate turn in the direction that we've indicated. If we say right right or left left, it means make the next right or the next left turn that you can. Another command is back. This is asking the dog to turn in a 180 degree angle and walk the opposite direction it was just walking. Finally, the find command is my dog's favorite. It's asking the dog to find an object. Cindy is always wagging her tail when I ask her to find something. Remember that guide dogs and their humans work together as a team to navigate safely. If you ever see a guide dog working with its blind handler, make sure to give the two space. If you want to talk to the handler, that's totally fine, but make sure not to talk to the dog or pet it because it's working and keeping them both safe. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you guys on the next video.